David Lindley is one of the most soulful musicians I know. In 1989, we had a chance to catch up with him at the Folk Music Center in Claremont, California. Now, it's an incredible store. It's full of all sorts of eclectic and odd instruments, and Lindley knows how to play almost all of them. He's really something. The store was started by Dorothy and Charles Chase. When they were ready to retire, their grandson, Ben Harper, the wonderful musician, bought it, and his mother runs it to this day. We've come to Claremont to visit the Folk Music Center. It's owned and operated by Charles and Dorothy Chase. It's kind of a combination museum and music store all together. They bring instruments from all over the world and sell some and hang some on the wall for people like us to enjoy. Come on inside. 30 years ago, Charles and Dorothy Chase moved to California from Massachusetts, bringing with them a guitar and a banjo. Since then, they've acquired thousands of musical instruments and just as many friends. People come to the Folk Center to share their love for music. At this store, you're encouraged to pick up an instrument and play, so it's not unusual for a jam session just to happen on the spur of the moment. A lot of the people that come in here are musicians. They peruse the walls in search of their favorite guitar or banjo, pull it off the hook and check it out. David Lindley is one of the most sought after studio musicians in the world. He's played with everyone from Linda Ronstadt to Rod Stewart. He's done music from movies like Paris, Texas, and performed in concert with countless acts, including his own band, El Rey OX. David lives in Claremont, and he's a regular at the Folk Music Center, a place he sees as instrumental in his and many others' music careers. He was responsible, both he and Dorothy, for traditional folk music, keeping it going, getting records, and, and keeping people interested in it. And it, it's really, it's had a big influence on me. I bet it has, probably this whole influence. area. Huh? Yeah, it really is. It's a real kind of a power spot for uh, all kinds of good stuff. Uh, coming into a place like this with all these instruments must be like a playground for you. Oh, that's, that's terrible. Sometimes <laughs> I come in here and I, I want that. Yeah, I, I know the feeling. <laughs> The walls of the Folk Center are lined with every kind of stringed instrument known to man, most of which David Lindley knows how to play. David spent a lot of time studying instruments from other cultures, like this Turkish saz, and he takes some of them with him when he's called to do a session. A lot of times they say, bring everything, so I say, oh no, you mean everything? Oh. What is everything? Yeah, we want every everything is, 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 how many? is not real good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be fun. Yeah, this is going to be this good. This is going to be fun, and they told me to bring everything. Yeah, uh, Lily, uh, uh, bring everything. So the first day, it was like half the studio was all this stuff. A lot of the instruments David played on the trio album came from the Folk Music Center, including one of his favorites. One of the things that I think you do so well is uh, know when not to play, and the things you play are so tasteful. That's, you know, kind of rare a lot of, a lot of days, these days. Uh, you know, I think a good example of that is your solo in To Know Him Is To Love Him on the Trio album. And you played it on this Hawaiian guitar, right? Yeah, on a different one, but... We'll, we'll play it on there and just the same let people see what we're same talking about. Kind of a construction. <laughs> David Lindley learned to play by listening to the Kingston Trio and Flatten Scruggs. And then he branched out and took in music and playing styles from all around the world. All of this time, he's been coming to the Folk Music Center to visit with the Chases and to sample the array of musical delights in their shop. For David, this place is much more than a store. It's a second home. This is David Holt, out on the road with the Celebration Express. <laughs>